How many bunkers do you think are in this yurt? We all know yurts are super cheap, so there can't be many. What if I told you there was four bunkers in there? Would you believe me? So, top floor, as we can see. There has to be a bunker here. And, as we can see, underneath bunker one, we are greeted with bunkers two and three. And lastly, making our way through bunker number four, as you can see, this is the main core. Okay, so let's give you the quick tour before we get into how to build it. This entrance up here isn't the best. Obviously, it's a bit slow um, getting up and down. But the good thing about it is you can put shotgun traps up here if you want. So um, you could potentially trap some people. So we go through a standard airlock. And going forward, I've just furnished this a little bit. So you've got a couple of garage doors. Up here, you've got some storage, locker, pair bench, and blueprints and then we've got here is bunker number one okay so now most people think that this is the bunker here but it's not it's actually this here so i'll just go down and open it okay and there we go so all you want to do is break this piece of twig okay and that opens bunker number one and to seal it it's just a simple like so there you go that is bunker number one then what you're greeted to is these hqm spiral stairs okay and you can't get past them um you can soft side them out but it's i don't think many people are going to want to do that now there are some boxes that the raiders can reach without getting past the case is that they can reach this large here and they can probably reach this large if they mess around i think you can get to that large um, probably that small I'm sure anyway so the way to get past these if you own the base obviously is a half wall and then just jump up you can do a door for a triangle frame here and then once you've got that triangle frame you can place one on this side and that means you can get through to all your storage on this side of the base or if you come through this side you can place one here and then you can get through this side. So that's technically another two bunkers that you have to open. And on this side, you've got more storage. You've got one, two, three large. Um, there's three small. Um, another couple of small in there. And then around the back, you've got another two large and three small. Okay, so that's that. So that's the three bunkers. And then what you've got after that is you have your fourth bunker under here, which has... Two sleeping bags, um, your level 3 workbench, a large box, two drop boxes, one small, TC, and you do have two um, drop boxes there. There's one, another one behind it, the one behind it isn't worth having. Um, this is the upkeep, it's absolutely tiny, absolutely tiny on this year. It's unbelievably cheap to build and upkeep, and you can also controversial but you can despawn loot by putting it in here and if you're getting online raided you can just break this twig boom and you've just despawned some loot and you can replace everything just by placing it and placing the vending machine back down and obviously this is the bunker here you just break this twig frame and it opens the bunker oh i'm jumping out there you go it's um yeah it can be quite frustrating to move around but it's pretty strong for the price okay so should we get into how to build it let's go hey guys so let's get into this build i'm going to use a build grade of metal to speed this video up guys but um anything that needs to be built in twig i'll tell you before i place it and anything that needs upgrading above so you can see me do it in the video so what you want to do is find a nice flat surface to build on. I've picked edge on the edge of an island, like on the beach. 
So what you want to do is start off with a triangle foundation. You want to place this as high as you possibly can. Not place it, but get it as high as you can. And just bring it down a tiny bit. So when you see it move down a little bit, that, you've got it in the right place. Down again. And down. Make sure you're building these all in twig, mind, okay? Because we do need to break a couple in a minute. So once you come down to ground floor, you want to make a C shape like this. So as you can see, we've got a C. This last one here, we want in twig. We want it to be kept in twig, okay? So just remember that. I will show you the floor print in a minute. Okay, so let's go around and finish up the high foundations. So we can break this one. Let's go all the way around. Once that's done, your footprint is going to look something like this. All you want to do is add the last loop that is missing on the back. Okay. Next up, what you want to do is any foundation that has an inner wall into the bunker, you want to upgrade to So, I mean, you can do it inside. And like so, they all have to be HQM because we don't want it soft sided. Then we need a sheet. That's called double door frame there. That allows us to place these. But not this one. Because the bunker works with twig frame here. So okay. That's how the first bunk works. I'll quickly show how to furnish this, but the rest of the base I'll do a furnishing thing at the woods. Okay, so what you want to do is you want your TC uh, here. So that should be fine like that. And I do normally get a drop box. Get one drop here mostly. That should do it. And we should only have any machine in there. Okay, once we've done that, we get a level 3 workbench, which I've got to spawn. Okay, just get this to go blue and just walk it in so it doesn't move anymore. There. So, and we want to get our sleeping bags. Now, I've done this for a duo. Um, so, there's one there. Yep, here. So, and then that should allow us to get a large box here with a drop box above. So, last time when it wouldn't let me. Don't think it's there. there. So maybe if you tweak it, you might look at that in there. Anyway, let's move on. So this is your main bunker. So just build that, seal it, then you crack on the rest of the outside. Okay, so where is the bunker? This is where the bunker is. Okay. So this one next to it is where I'll drop that next bunker is. Okay, so behind that. We need to place two walls. Let's get our build grade back up. Like so. On the triangle foundation that's H to go next to it, to do two um, door frames. And then on the triangle foundation opposite that over there, we want to place two double. Well, these have to be placed, otherwise, the stability does not work in that bunker. Okay? Once that is done, need to build the next one. I'm going to do all this in twig actually so you fully understand what to do. Okay. What we do is we're going to place um, half wall here, half wall here. We're going to upgrade the top one to keep metal. Come around here, place two half walls here. We're going to upgrade both. And then we're going to place a full wall here. Like okay. Then what we're going to do is move from the other side. We're going to place two half walls here. Upgrade the top one. I'm going to come around, place a triangle floor. Upgrade and a half wall. What we can do is remove two twigs and place a low wall, place it out here. And that. So let's go check if this work. Just jump up. Get your floor, move three, four, five, and then 
be so much a break. Perfect. Can't break them. Means we've got it right. Once we've done that, we'll go around the outside with triangle floors. Walk into the edges is the easiest way. Stand in the middle here, just either side. There we go, so we've gone all the way around. So, what we'll do is going to quickly finish inside the stairs. So, what you want to do in here is where you drop down, this is the bunk section, as you can see. It's that. Break this twig. Open. So, you want two high, uh, low walls facing me. Place two low walls and then on this side over here just place one set of triangle spiral stairs and bring them to HQM and then on this side we want two lots. That's placed the wrong way around. Yeah, that's about that. Right, okay, so just make sure you don't do what I've done and place them wrong. Needs both be facing in to upgrade both to HQM and there you go. That is downstairs done. Like I said, open it. All you do, like that, jump up. And you can open both sides. Other side, whichever side you want to go. And the other good thing about this is break these. Up this side. Um, so if you spawn in this side. Um, and you want to get out of your base, all you do is press out of here and the triangle will get you basically there, okay? Um, and obviously you have to have this down here. There you go, you can then get in and out of your bunker. Okay guys, so let's move on upstairs, finish this off. So what you want here is this is the in and out entrance of the base. So let's get build grade back on. We have two walls, okay, like so. Inside, two single doors, a wall, which is a hard side facing in, and then you just go around the outside, like so. Pop the roof on. There we go, and then in here, I mean, I've done two garage doors there, but I mean, you could put four in if you wanted. Hopefully, up to you how you do it. Hey guys, and this is complete build for the four bunker year. Um, super cheap, super effective. I'm definitely going to be using this. Um, yeah, so if you're still watching at this point, um, hold tight because we're about to go into the furnishing part of where I have placed all my items. And yeah, if you're still here, um, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Um, or, well, you don't have to subscribe, but I mean, that would be fun as well. But yeah, let's move on to the next part. Cheers, catch you later. Okay, let's go on in and check out how I've furnished Four Bunker Year. Standard airlock. As we go in, garage door with a drop box just for dropping off any type of loot. Research bench, um, locker, bear rug, bear bench small boxes up top nothing that important but it's the way i like it so this is bunker number one so i'm going to open up bunker one's open but in here i've got the two furnaces there and a barbecue and barbecue is used to jump in and out a little tip if you use the barbecue like you just got to make sure you're stood on the top of it when you jump otherwise you're not going to jump okay Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the bunkers. I've got build grade on, so that's just supposed to be the way about that. Okay, so moving on over to this side. And once it's opened up, we have a large, large and small, and another large. Then we've got over here two small, two small inside of this. You probably could get some um, more furnaces in there, that's totally dependent on you. I've just got some boxes. Around here is one of the main loot rooms on one of one side. So you've got two large and which obviously if a raider somehow gets 
into this part, they cannot see around that. Okay, moving on to this side. The way I've furnished it is very similar. It's pretty much just storage. So over here we've got one large, two small. Over here we have three large, five small. The good thing about this is you can literally walk around, get on it, like so. And then what we'll do is we're going to move on down again. Open the bunker. And like I showed you in the build video, it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, you have your vending machine for storing loot. The be spawn in it if you feel you want to do that. It's you don't have to. You think it's scummy, don't do it. Think that the, you don't want the people to get your loot. When you're online. That's your call. I'm not here to judge. Okay, I just give you the options. Um, yeah, TC duo base. So you've got your two sleeping bags in the main floor. Um, L3 workbench, small box, large box, and three three drop boxes and also this is a good reason I put this down here make sure you put some cooked food down here guys because you spawn down here you can eat something stand here get 100% comfort get to 100% um, health before you even have to leave your bunker okay guys and that is it that is how I furnish this poor bunker here so yeah catch you guys later